All right. <laughs> it's not deja vu. It's Connie Lee. You're, <laughs> you're amazing. Thank you for the $50 cash app donation. Yeah, guys, Connie Lee. I don't think you've ever seen her name on any of the donation list. My goodness. Connie, you are so sweet. And guys, I'm telling you, if you get a chance to read her comments, look at how positive they are. I mean, that's the greatest gift I get out of this channel is that. And then to send help financially, dude, do that. Crazy. I mean, crazy cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Earlier today, I made you a much longer video and trying to upload it all day. I think there's something wrong with the camera on my new phone again. So if this video doesn't upload, I know I'm, I'm screwed. Um, but it was 26 minutes long. I did a drive and I showed you what I did with the $50 that you sent. I got the car completely detailed. I spent uh, just over $300 on it. And like, I was crying almost paying that, but it is what it is. Um, you guys will be happy. It'll be, it'll be nice to ride in that car. You'll want to ride a lot. You can, it's, it's, it's immaculate. It's unbelievable, but no, of course not. You're not gonna be able to see it because my stupid phone or something just doesn't record well. I'm sure it's me, but <laughs> anyway, Connie, thank you for all your kindness, all your generosity. You truly are a guardian angel. Um, you're always looking out for me. It really means a lot to me that you care so much. Uh, I still wish I'd give myself uh, credit and accept when you and others, you know, say how wonderful I am and all these things that it, like how I take it because I just don't, be, like I, I'm, I'm believing it more, but I, I still am very, very low on that scale of belief when it comes to, you know, how much I appreciate myself or, or love myself. Like some days are better than others. Um, it's a constant struggle. And, uh, um, when, when you guys say beautiful things to me, which is a lot, I, I just, I don't, um, what is it? I, 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 I just, I just don't believe it. Not that you're not being truthful. I believe that from, from your hearts, that's how you feel. But for me to accept it, it's, it's like, why would they say that about me when so many people in the past of my family who I had to leave seven plus or seven years ago, just about from Orange County, um, I was kind of exiled and stuff. So it's like, it, it, it's like all this time that I'm supposed to be this like rotten person. When I knew in my heart, I'm not a bad, I'm always, I'm, I'm trying to help people. My heart is humongous. I feel for people more like way more than most like I dude I cry for other people so much like 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 I'm like a miserable just I'm I'm just I'm just sad a lot I'm depressed a lot um, and it's amazing what I was talking about in the video that I made for you for you earlier is like I really felt it today because being down and out like it's it's pretty normal in my life unfortunately. And I'm sure some of you feel that way too. And, and I mean, shoot, let's get out of this together somehow for Pete's sakes. Like, like if we have to be stuck in, in this life, then I mean, it takes a little more work or a little more effort to just make life that much more bearable. I mean, it's like, shoot, why not? All you younger people, man, seriously, like, I had it easy for so long. I had it easy for so long. And then once I was completely cut off, it was like a huge slap in the face. But it's definitely the best thing that ever happened to me because I've, I've never been like someone who would who would hurt himself. But um, who knows if, if that life would have kept on going while I was living up here. Who knows? Um, so I credit you guys for saving my life. Um, but I, I still have a long way to go. I really do. Um, as, as I said, I've never wanted to do anything to myself, but when I'd be on my motorcycle or like something, I would just say like, you know what, as I'm gassing it, like if the tire pops and I go over that cliff right there, I, who cares? Like, or you know what, if I don't wake up, I don't give a damn. And, uh, that's not a fun place to be. 
like that's not a good place to be and uh like i'm really having struggles giving up on my family um as as much as i know that's and this is going to sound horrible but that's that's the best thing i can do is uh is just completely be done with them um my siblings most of them um because it's it's just i'm trying to grow and they're continuing to try to project or not try they're projecting their insecurities their lack of any mo any motivation to do anything real um, when the cameras are on they're these wonderful people but then when the lights are all off um, I mean it's it's just I got some scumbags for siblings like guys like you don't even know and I know that sociopath gets tossed around very much these days but I'm telling you man like like it's scary like it, it's it's scary so um, anyway sorry Connie I didn't mean to bring down the mood a bit but when I when my whole point like that started probably two minutes ago is what I really noticed today is when I was making the video earlier when uh, I was out showing you the car and how beautiful it is inside and outside um, I was mentioning how uh, I have this really weird feeling just 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 flowing over me um, of just peace and serenity and like uh, I always knew that it made me feel a lot better when I'm doing these videos with you guys because I, I, I really feel like you're there with me it's really weird I know it's really weird I might be crazy um, like I, I know you're not physically there but it just gives me that sensation that you're there with me and it's it completely changes how I feel which once again that should be a sign to everybody out there that it is that simple to change what's going on in your head because the reason why most of us are always miserable is because that's all we're thinking about <laughs> you know you notice when you uh like uh i don't know think of a dog doing something hilarious like uh like just rubbing its butt on the ground and stuff like you know or just like like stuff like that or a baby laughing its butt off like just like just the most funny laugh over nothing you like drop a spoon and the baby just flips out with laughter like the, the hardest laugh you've ever seen it's like in that instant second we can change our emotion I mean like I wonder if any of you felt that when I was talking about it like uh, it's it's pretty incredible our power that we do possess over our mind if we choose um, you know, law of attraction. So that's, that's what that is. What you think about, you bring about. And that's why I'm always miserable because I've gotten away from that. And I don't have many positive thoughts. And for some reason, I keep on wanting to get back into it big time. And like, I'm, I don't know what I'm afraid of, but I think I'm figuring out, I, I think I might be afraid of happiness. As weird as that sounds. Like I, I've, I've had to dig for years for that and trying to make the video earlier kind of put, brought a bunch of things into perspective for me. And I think deep down, I'm afraid to be happy because I know this place much better. As much as I hate it, I know it very well. So it, I, I have an unconditional love for this pain that I wallow in all the time. Um, and that's dangerous you guys that's dangerous but that's exactly what it is I'm afraid to be happy like how like how backwards is that and I guarantee you for a lot of people out there that are miserable they're feeling the same thing so I mean anyone else feel like this I, I know these videos don't get lots of views but I hope the few that watch this far maybe uh, you know maybe we can't other people who are struggling, we can we can do something together, keep each other accountable. Um, I don't know. Like uh, I feel like I would do it more and be willing <laughs> to do more if, if it's you guys, and if it's you know, I don't know, us together, helping each other out like that. I don't know. Like I I I have no idea. Like uh, like we'll promise each other. Like I'll go for a jog every day, and Jane will go 
or or Connie will will uh, do a walk around her block or like something like like every day and then we we hold each other accountable and stuff but then again like I've got so much going on that I don't ever want to feel like I'm like letting anyone down you guys know I typically always respond but sometimes like I get so, guys like like I, I get to a point where I'm almost in tears where it's just I'm just overwhelmed with with like everything and it's it's not a bad overwhelm but it's it's overwhelmed sometimes and uh, no matter what I'll always get back to you guys um, because yeah it makes me feel better but it's weird it's like you guys are like a drug for me it's it's I'm not kidding I'm not kidding you guys are like a drug for me so um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure this thing out you guys I'm trying to figure this life out I'm 41 and I'm, and I'm still you know involved in these inner struggles um, yeah. And I know it's not just me. I wish it was. I wish it was. Um, I don't want you. I, I know I don't want any of you hurting, and I know a lot of you are going through a lot right now too. I mean, some of you have lost loved ones just recently. Some of you have been in horrific accidents. Like this thing is not a joke and it's it's a constant it's a constant big breaking curveball that we're being tossed every single day by life. And you know what? Unfortunately, everybody can't hit the curveball. And I mean it's a big curveball. That thing breaks like from twelve to six and goes through the ground. Like it's so hard to hit, but like I'm really trying to develop more skills. I know I have all the skills that I need from all the rehabs that I've been to and all the counseling that I've gone through. I know I have it. I don't know why it stays inside. That's what I'm frustrated with. I know what I need to do. And it's like, oh, I need more tools. I need this and that. It's like, and then I'm just going to get to that point where I was a million times, like, like about to push through that bubble that was impenetrable in my mind. And then somehow I just, I, I cut off my nose to spite my face and all that effort just whew, sinks back down. The impenetrable ball, impenetrable ball is in, is, is, yeah, it's, it's not going to be penetrated. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. Like, I mean, guys, Money, money, none of that stuff. Like, yeah, like, okay, it's super important. It matters because we all have need roofs over our heads. We have to pay rent. We have to pay insurance, bills for other people, you know, helping us out, like, uh, like lenders and stuff like that. So, you know, it is a vital part of our existence, sadly or not sadly. And at points where, you know, my business has been doing well. Um, it's always steady, so I'm very grateful for that. I, I mean, don't get me, I'm always grateful for that, but um, like, uh, it, it's, it's, my whole, it, it's just tough. It's just, it's just really, really tough when, when you think more money is gonna, like, yeah, it does take away a lot of what's going on emotionally for me, but I don't feel any less in pain, okay? Um, I can do more with my life. I can go stay in hotels. I can travel. Um, but none of it's fixing me. And that's the thing. I'm, I'm seeking desperately what the heck to do. And I, I've, I've learned a little bit about who I think I am over the past six years, six and a half years, almost seven years of really fierce struggle, really low, low point. Um, I think I was lower up here than the, than the worst I ever thought I was at any of my drug rehabs, not from drugs and alcohol up here though, but because it was the first time where I didn't have any family really. Um, and uh, 
my mentality, I guess, originally wasn't to like stick up the middle finger um, and just work really hard just to be able to do that to them and like make money and just and just rub it in their faces. Um, but after a while, like, uh, I mean, my mom always told me the best revenge, Nick, is become a success. You know. I mean, and I know she's not a vengeful person in any way, but she knew the mentality that I was in. And she would, she would always, always say that because I would want to like, like punch them or like something. And, uh, yeah, honey, the best revenge is just being, being successful and being happy with who you are. No one can take that away from you, you know, and it's absolutely true how we feel about ourselves and, uh. It's so easy to change it. But anyway, sorry for the long thank you, Connie. I appreciate it again. Uh, you've been such a wonderful uh, help for me. Um, emotionally, It's uh, I get that motherly feel from you, and it, it feels really nice. Um, you know, Thankfully, I, I still get along with my mom, um, but it's not where I want it to be at all. It's not near the relationship that I had as a mama's boy my whole life. It's really sad. And she's she's older. She's not doing well. She forgets things. I just got mad at her because she forgot something. And then I get upset at myself for getting upset at her when, like, she's not doing it on purpose. And then it, it, it just makes me an emotional wreck because I snapped on her. And it's like, it's like, guys, I mean, back to the money thing. And then I'll, I'll let you guys go. Yeah, it's certainly has alleviated a lot of my stresses, like where am I sleeping next month once this month's rent's paid? You guys even like you even know what that feels like? I'm I'm sure some of you do. It's not a fun feeling to do that every month. Not having any clue where that money's coming from. And then uh, I can pay my bills, my electric, my gas without really worrying about it. And I'm able to help my mom and dad a little bit. And the only thing that makes me happy out of all of that in terms of what I'm able to help myself out with is helping my mom and dad. But anyway, um, thanks again for being here, you guys. We're going to have a fun season this next season, I promise. It's not going to be depressing. I'm, I'm always happy in the wintertime. Um, I just really do care about you guys. And I don't want you guys to see any facade, nothing like that. I want you guys to know who I am, that I am just a normal person. Because I know some of you look up to me a bit. And, and I find that remarkable. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very flattering. I really, really, really love it. And I don't want to let anybody down. You know, I've been told most of my life, I, I have the ability to help people and to touch people's lives. So, I'm going to go before I, uh, Niagara Falls here, but thank you, Connie. And thank all of you for just being so supportive, being there for me, uh, always saying nice things and Thank you. Hope, you. hope you guys have a good rest of your night. And, uh, you know, we don't have to be miserable all the time. We don't. I choose to be, and I'm done doing that. Let's help each other. Sorry about the downer message. It's not a downer message because we're trying to help. Trying to help all of us. I'm a big inclusion there.